Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Wednesday live stream. So we got a lot of things to talk about. So let's just jump right into it. There was a great debate last night between pro crypto lawyer John Deaton and the anti crypto establishment that is known as Elizabeth Warren. And it was a, it was a pretty good debate. It was about an hour long or so. I linked in the description. But there was a couple of different pieces that I want to take from it where John essentially tells Elizabeth Warren and uh, all of her cohorts that they essentially suck. I thought that was pretty good. And then there was another another piece where he really goes into the whole establishment. So if you don't know, uh, John Deaton is the uh, pro crypto lawyer as uh, described by FX Street. And he was a responsible for part of the Ripple lawsuit as he worked pro bono or free to root out types of corruption and to help out uh, the Ripple legal counsel for as they were getting sued against the SEC because that's what Gary Gensler does. So... We talk here, it says Ripple lost, it has ended. The XRP community can use to digest the developments. But then what was interesting about this piece is that, and if you don't know John, he's a pretty outspoken guy, former Marine. He's a veteran, got to love that guy. And he said, look, there's been a massive misconduct by the, by the SEC lawyers and they should be fired for it. And there has actually been proof going on of other SEC uh, participants that uh, that has actually been true and they're going through the process. But that's John. Elizabeth Warren, I think everybody on this uh, channel knows, is uh, the uh, senator, Democratic senator from Massachusetts. And uh, she's responsible for the anti-crypto army and really pushing the narrative of Operation Choke Point 2.0 or now, who knows, maybe 3.0 as time comes on. And uh, that is what is going on. And as a reminder, just because there's one person that's trying doesn't mean that there's not opposition to it. And there is some opposition coming in and John is leading the way. So I like what I see. So here are the two pieces that I picked out that uh, just to kind of give you a little, little insight into how things are going and what's happening. And then we'll talk about John's chances for actually uh, becoming senator and beating Elizabeth Warren in Massachusetts. So I want you to hear this. This is about uh, it's like 30 seconds long. Let me see here. That dab. Take a listen to this. Tell me what you think in the comments. Yes, listen, you notice she still avoids the issue and, and, and she just misled the voters again because I said that I had a victory fund. I was trying to get state legislature people elected because the one party system's not working in Massachusetts. Again, Senator Warren misled. But here's the thing. Senator Warren lives in this hyper partisan political world where she's defined by party. You notice it's Democrats are great, Republicans are bad. I got news for you, Senator. All of you suck in Congress. <laughs> Look at that face. Anyhow, maybe you don't agree with John. Maybe you think that, uh, you know, that they all don't suck. I, I don't think all senators and, and uh, congressmen and women suck. But uh, I mean, John seems to have a different opinion than me. So uh, let me know what you think about that in the comments section. I just thought it was pretty interesting that he, he laid that out there like he uh, did. And then also, the next piece is, I was going to say the highlight of the night. So just take a little listen to this. <laughs> I love this part too. And see what he says here about uh, President Kamala Harris and uh, Ripple as it uh, comes down to contribution or campaign financing. So just take a listen to this. What I don't hear you talking about is what exactly do the crypto folks expect to get by funding 90% You want to know something? Uh, everyone out there, I sued the government because the SEC had done something really bad to small retail investors and a lifelong Democratic judge agreed with me. I did it all pro bono and this token XRP was called legal because of my work. I won Lawyer of the Year, Consumer Advocate of the Year, Defender of Freedom Award because I did it for free. And guess what? Last week, that crypto billionaire that she's talking about that has supported me just donated millions of this XRP token to Vice President Harris' campaign. If I didn't do what I did, sue the SEC on behalf of small retail investors, that donation to your candidate of choice, Senator, would not have happened. So, Madam Vice President, if you're watching, you're welcome. I would like <laughs> That's great. So... Again, highlights the night right there. I linked in the uh, description the full debate so you can kind of get context for what they were all talking about. Again, those are just snippets and they're really for entertainment purposes, but to really to take a look at what their stance are uh, as far as not just crypto, but as far as the uh, economy, as far as border, as far as crime. There's a lot of different things you really have to take a look at if you are in Massachusetts and have the ability to vote. 
it is a, would probably behoove you to take a listen to everything and not just rely on some guy who's in a really nice green screen. So let me know what you think about that in the comments section. And the question then becomes, <clears throat> well, how close is John and can he win? Well, I, we did a video, this was uh, four months ago. And I talked about, we just took a look at the data and uh, what could potentially happen. It wasn't like Massachusetts does tend to swing pretty heavy on the Democratic side, but they have had governors in the past who were Republicans. And uh, if we take a look at the uh, undecided factor, it looked like it could turn the tide. However, and take this with a grain of salt. This is from uh, WCVB, Boston News leader. As we take a look here, top race in Massachusetts election. We can see that Harris is uh, thumping Trump uh, 30 to 56, like we talked about, because Democrats are uh, more prominent, prominent, prominent in uh, Massachusetts. And if we take a look at the Warren and Deaton race. It's 56 to 34. Other is three, and they don't know seven. So that's what we have. But again, this poll was based on responses from 700 people, surveyed between October 3rd and 10th. Margin of error is 4.8%. I would love to see new data come out to see what people thought after that debate. But again, it's up in the air. Can John win? Sure, John can win. And uh, you know, is it a lock? Absolutely not. But the big thing is, is that he's bringing awareness to the people of Massachusetts and around the country about what Bitcoin, crypto, digital assets, Ripple, and XRP actually is. And it's not the big bad monster that Senator Elizabeth Warren makes it out to be. I think that is the real travesty of justice. And we'll see how it works out. So let me know what you think about that. And then also, speaking of speaking of politicians, uh, Donald Trump and uh, World Liberty Finance Token. What a name, huh? WLF. So that was released uh, yesterday. And uh, here is what we have for the output. And you'd have to think, like, if it's Donald Trump, you think that, you know, this coin would do quite well. I mean, he's got millions and millions of followers. There's a lot of people who are backing him. So how is it doing? Just check this out. This is from uh, Squawk Box, uh, Joe. And uh, let's see what they have to say. Let me sure. Yeah. Take a listen to this. About a minute or so. Whoops. Hey, good morning, Joe. World Liberty Financial, which aspires to be a sort of crypto bank, launched its token sale on Tuesday, but the project's website suffered regular and lengthy outages for much of the day, contributing to a limited number of sales. The team had said that well over 100,000 people were on the whitelist to invest, but blockchain data shows less than 9% of the total number of people who registered actually hold the WLFI token. In a roadmap given to prospective investors, the project's co-founders said that they were looking to raise $300 million at a $1.5 billion valuation in this initial sale. So far, it's sold around 770 million tokens at 1.5 cents per coin. That is less than 4% of the 20 billion tokens made available for public sale and amounts to $11.4 million. So there is still a ways to go to make it to that $300 million fundraising goal. Ouch, 11.4 million. Probably not what he's going for. So again, you have to take a look at it and say, well, what does this coin do? What is the utility and who's behind it? And uh, should I get into this? And apparently a lot of people said, absolutely not. We're not going to do it. And that could be a lot of different Trump supporters say, this doesn't make sense for me. And that's really what makes America great. You don't have to do something just because you like a candidate or something that they're behind. Nobody's perfect out here. And that's for damn sure. But I was, I would be amiss if I didn't remiss to talk about Tom Crown, friend of the show, found out about the token. So this is the WLFI token in their terms of service and their information that they put out. The WLFI token, and I'll just read here, the sole utility of the WLFI token is governance of the WLF protocol. WLFI, World Liberty Financial, will be fully functional for its governance utility at the time of completion at the token sale, blah, blah, blah. All WLFI tokens will be non-transferable and locked indefinitely in a wallet or smart contract until such time, if ever, WLFI are unlocked through protocol governance procedures in a fashion that does not contravene applicable law. Status, not transferable. So people will look at that and go, <laughs> and I like how Tom said, he said, they pre-rugged me, which is pretty funny actually, <laughs> give it to Tom. And then some people said, oh, well, they're just going to leave that up to the DAO. 
the governance. And then they're going to be able to actually do this at a later point. And uh, like Larry says, sounds like they're saying we are not a security, but you can vote to change this rule, perhaps. And Tom says, no, they're saying you've been free rug. I'm not going to go that far. Maybe they, the governance actually token, but uh, numbers don't lie. And that's what we have here, for the WLF token. And uh, it's up to you to decide that. So we have those pieces going on in crypto and digital assets today. We've seen a rally actually this morning. I want to tell you that uh, Bitcoin, I think, hit 68,000 and dropped down. So things are looking pretty good. Over seven days, uh, this, is, this is wrong. Uh, Bitcoin's up over 10%. And then uh, Ethereum, BNB, everything's up. It's looking good, 9% for Solana. So congratulations for everybody who did their job and bought in the bear so they can appreciate this time. But I need to uh, remind you of scams because it doesn't matter how much you make, it's how much you keep. This is from another friend of the show, Sam, for, for my, my financial friend. And I get emails like this too. Not as much as I think Sam does, but I, I do and it sucks. Sam says, be careful of scams. I got an email. I get an email like this every few days. Never trust anyone. And this is why I got the rules, the rules underneath me. The second rule, everything's a scam until proven otherwise. And that goes with every token and tokens that we just talked about. But this is a pretty bad letter. I'll just paraphrase it real quick. Somebody thinks they're talking to Sam in some group. It looks like they're talking to him through Tic Tac, WhatsApp, and Telegram. And this kid or this guy used his son's the, would, the withdrawal of my son's cryptocurrency. And they said, yeah, you know, pay us and we'll, you know, we'll send it over. And then he says, and there's a promise, there's a promise that we can still cash out the money we have on Coinbase wallet. But then again, they're asking for another payment of $5,000. I understand that I may have been vulnerable in the situation, but I believe it has taught me a valuable lesson. Yeah, that's usually what happens. And uh, I'll just remind everybody here who is listening, I'll never send anything to you. I don't need anybody to send me any money. And that's just the, the, the way it goes. If you receive anything from me, and I said it right here, the only email you're gonna get to me, get from me, is first of all, if you sign up for Dan Teaches Crypto, the 100% free website. And I'll just talk about like, hey, we got some new free stuff. There's no money, there's free stuff. And the free, uh, the free website, which is free information that I've been doing free for the last three years. But if I do send you something, I'll say, hey, rule number five, take profits or I'll dump on you. And that's it. So just remind of yourself and all this stuff that we talk about, it sounds great and everything's good. But I have to tell you, be cautious out there. Don't put your life savings in right now because anything can change at a dime. This is from Kim.com. I, I can't verify this. I can't validate it. It's just some information that he's been put out and uh, it's uh, from his account itself. It says, North Korea prepares for war. They're blowing up roads and rails that use to connect the North and the South. Kim Jong-un has ordered artillery units to move near the border with readiness to engage. If the US starts a war with Iran, WW3 is guaranteed. However, I will say that Kim is, is very leans towards the uh, World War III uh, narrative uh, quite a bit in his different posts. So if this happens, and then we have a problem with Iran, and this must be old. North Korea calls Joe Biden a rabid dog. I don't know why they would say that. He's not even the president of the United States essentially anymore. So we'll see. So be careful you vote for everybody. Uh, maybe something bad will happen, but uh, that's it for today. So look, can't be all good news. Sorry, there is no moon boy, but that's it for today. If you like today's video, except for that last part was pretty a downer. Uh, like and subscribe, all that good stuff. But if you want to stick around, I'll do a little Q&A. I'll answer all your questions the best of my abilities and uh, we'll go from there.